It's probably freezing out there. And now we're going to talk about my warming designer list for winter 2023. Let's get into it. <laughs> Welcome you absolute legends, I am Full Frizz, I am Pete, I am back and today, like I intro said, it's winter's here, it's well upon us now, it's freezing cold outside, but these 10 fragrances are going to definitely warm me up, this is my designer list, there's no honorable mentions, um, but I'm just going to crack straight into this, and as always we start with number 10. Alright, we're going to kick off the list with a complete curveball, because no one in their right mind will do this, apart from me, because quite honestly, I'm a bit nuts, but you'll find out. But for me, the first one is Ralph Lauren uh, Red Polo Red Half Farm. Now you're gonna go peep, peep, peep. What the hell is wrong with you? That's got the cranberries and all that. That's the reason I've put this in. It's got the cranberries in it. It's a little bit tart, a little bit sour, tart, tart. But it smells beautiful in the cold weather. It just goes off. It really does. It's an amazing scent. It's very sweet, very alluring, perfect if you want to go out for a bit of a you know, nice romantic evening that maybe goes to one of those tents that have all the hot chocolates and the bars and that. You know what I mean? But this will work perfectly for that. It so smells amazing. So like I said, the cranberry in here is kind of why I put this in it. Get you in the Christmas mood because quite frankly, cr cranberries at Christmas is an essential. It smells great, works brilliantly. Massively underrated at this point, but for me, it'll work perfectly for the cold weather. This is Ralph Lauren uh, Polo Red Puff Farm. All right, coming in at number nine, and again, kind of a curveball here, but go with me on this one. This is Gucci Guilty EDP. Now, I could have gone with Puff Farm, but I don't have that one. But this one I do have, and this one is a real juggernaut. There's some spiciness in this. With some chili in it, it's also got some rose, it's got vinegar. I have no idea where to put vinegar in this. Don't ask me, but it smells awesome. Again, it's very rich, it's very luxurious, it's flipping awesome. Again, wear this as going out, and you'll definitely, definitely be saying head. Now, the parfum could be a bit more smooth than this. Like I said, I don't know because I haven't got it. Um, but this one to me um, is all about the spiciness, it's the warmth. Again, you can cozy up with this bad boy happily is anything you like great little number again people don't really talk about the gucci guilty line much anymore because it's just being bastardized to be honest and don't know why but this was a great little number really underrated so this is gucci guilty or the puff farm all right coming in number eight now if you really want to smell a bit more grown up a bit more classy and you want to wear a still workforce this one's definitely for you this is from Ted Mares. this is Owen intense vetiver this one smells beautiful. It's got that lemon and bergamot off the top, which gives it a nice stuff. Some patchouli in the base. Again, with vetiver, it smells absolutely like you're a class act. Definitely, you wear this to work. No questions asked. This will smell absolutely like you're a real professional here. Um, and again, if you want to go and wear this on the night out, be my guest, because you'll certainly be different to most people who will normally wear something a bit sweeter, a bit more uh, loud. This one's a bit more subtle and in your face, so don't, <coughs> excuse me, just be careful, like, don't, like, you're not trying to make too much of a projection, but if you're wearing something really nice, like you wear some nice trousers, nice shirt, and you just want to look, like, quite put together, this one is definitely for you. Really underrated again. Um, so this is Ted Mez, O Intense Vetiver. All right, career number seven, and this one, again, is a bit of a curveball because now there is rumors this is getting discontinued, so just beware that this might be getting harder and harder to find as the time goes on. So if you see this video later on in the year and it's getting hard to find, just pre warning now. This is from the house of Hugo Boss, and this is my ridiculous 200ml bottle. I doubt I'll ever get through this, but this is the Boss uh, said Private Accord. This is all about the vanilla benzoin in it and obviously the meninka which smells amazing but now this is not a heavy projector this is more of a get close to someone this is where you want to be a little bit more subdued you're not going to like say i'm here 
with something loud and proud like Eros or the uh, 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 Versace, no, no, uh, Dior, Versace, uh, Dior Sauvage, sorry, that was rubbish. This is more of a soul, I'm here, but I'm a bit playful, I'm a bit mischievous, and I love being like that. Great little number, again, you can wear this to work and you will be absolutely fine. Just remember, like I say, it could be discontinued, so just be aware of that. But this is a great little number. Love this a lot. Sweet, sexy, and a bit of fun. Who doesn't want that at Christmas? This is Puga Boss, the Scent Private Accord. All right, the next one up, this is number, just outside the top five. And then this is again another curveball. Now, if you have the original to this, it's a lot better. But this one, you can still find, and it's still really, really good. This is Dolce Gumbana Port Arm. This is the 2012 version. Now, the 1994 edition has got the sticker on across that if you have a bot like i have you will cherish that one but this one is still about it's a little bit more modernized and to me it's all about that beautiful citrus off the top which has got lemon it's got bergamot it's just beautiful citrus off the top but then it goes into some nice warmth with the tobacco in the bottom great little number beautiful it's still about and it's not expensive this one runs about 50 quid for a it's 125 mil yeah so you are gonna get a serious bang for your buck with this one still smells classy still smells amazing still in production don't snooze on this one honestly if you have a vintage bottle of this i'll understand why you probably won't want to get this but for anyone else who has not really got into one of tobaccos this is a great little number again you can wear this to work no issues and again if you want to wear, dress it up for the party season be my guest great little number don't forget about it this is poor arm 2012. all right top five time now and this one is a new release from 2023 it's absolutely fantastic uh from the house of paco Rabanne. and paco Rabanne has been doing some bangers this year i will be honest with you i've been quite impressed with them this is another one this is uh invictus victory elixir this one takes that dna but it's made it a bit more with darkness with some olibanum and it's some resinacy, but it's still got a sweetness from vanillic notes and it smells freaking awesome in the cold weather. Honest to God, it's just one of those phrases you just smell and go, oh my good God, it smells awesome. This is a massively underrated fragrance. Um, people have hyped it up as well in the community, like uh, Asher, which Jen says he loves this one. I don't disagree with him. I think it's a great little number. Um, I will be wearing this and if you go out as well, you can definitely rock this one. You will definitely turn heads and you'll... I'm pretty sure one or two people might give you the compliments. So if you're under mistletoe, I'm just saying things might happen. I'm just saying. That's how power of this bad boy. It's a great little scent from the pack of band. It's Invictus, Invictus Victory Elixir. All right, coming number four. And this one came out last year. And again, this one smells blooming awesome. This from the house of Jean-Paul Gaultier. This is Scandal, Le Parfum. Now, I could go in with the Elixir today, which is... I'm sure most of the other YouTubers will go, give him by the Marlon Elixir. It is a good... I like the fragrance, don't get me wrong. But this one, I just think, no one really appreciates it anymore. So, I'm going to give it some love this year. But it's got geranium in this. It's got tonka in it and some sandalwood in it. Again, but it smells very classy. It's, it's a sort of thing that's sweet but classy sort of fragrance you can definitely wear this to the office party i won't wear it to the office because you might just get jumped or mistletoe things i'm just saying things might happen but this one is an amazing scent central off this is amazing projects like a beast and to be honest with you no one really talks about this one so i'm just going to give it some love right now this is scandal uh jump or it le mal scandal le parfum all right, coming in number three, and this is a throwback for, for about oh, 13 years ago. And um, this one is a flanker to probably the most used flankers ever. This is from the house of Yves Saint Laurent. This is another Lum, Le Parfum. This has got amazing notes of anise, vanillic, no, patchouli in this. Smells amazing. Again, it's got that DNA, slightly spicy, very sexy. But no one talks about this one. Now, as far as I was aware at the moment, it's still available. But you know what Leafs are on all these other companies like, they'll just suddenly discontinue. So if this is in the future again, this might be discontinued. But this right now, 
would be an absolute go get it. It does take that nasal region on to a little bit more spiciness, a little bit more sexiness. Great little number, definitely wear this out. Or you could wear it on Christmas Day if you're feeling like you're a bit frisky, but I'm not. If there's kids around, don't do this. Don't do that. But I'm saying this one will definitely get your attention. It'll make you stand out. And to be honest with you, no one talks about it. So why not get try something that's a bit older and try and be a bit different? So this is another reason I'm from East Oleron, Le Parfum. All right, the last two in this one, both of them come out this year, which is quite a nice novelty. Um, This one, I would say, is one of the smoothest um in this line um i said most of them from this line is getting discontinued which is really sad but this is armani code half farm this is just absolutely gorgeous it's got some vanillic notes in it aldehydes so some citrus up top very classy very wearable for anyone i will say this much um i'd say you could wear this to the office again just wear it with caution um could get you into trouble but i'm just saying that uh, i would definitely wear this out if you've got a party and you want to impress someone this is definitely one of the ways to go amazing scent works beautifully amani code's been out for what nearly two decades now and if you've got some of the flankers as well th they will do just prime but this one i just say because it's available still an amazing one this is armani code half farm all right, which leads me to number one. And again, this came out this year. And to be honest with you, it's just, mm, just perfect for this. This is Tom Ford Noir Extreme Parfum. This one has got the notes of Colfi. That vanillic notes in it. It's got leather in it. It's some suede. It just smells absolutely intoxicating. It's even richer than Noir Extreme, quite honestly, because it says Parfum, but sometimes that doesn't happen this time it has it's an amazing scent honestly do not underestimate this one you can go with the water extreme again that would work just as well but i just think if you're really trying to just impress and if it's a really cold night this thing will just cut through it like no one's business you will definitely get attention with this one no two ways about it i would wear it out i'd wear it so just if you again if you're trying to impress someone this one will definitely do the trick for you it's not cheap, but well worth having a bottle of this. So this is my number one. This is Tom Ford Noir Extreme. Have fun. All right, you legends, because you're amazing and you give me a thousand subs, I'm going to do you one extra bonus one because I love you guys. So this is the House of Bulgari. This is Man in Black. And this one is an obvious one. It's boozy. It's uh, very, very sexy. It's got some spiciness in it. Great little number. Again, this isn't as easy to find as the other ones but if you can find this for a reasonable price please pick this one up it honestly god it will do serve you so well so a bonus one for you this is bulgari man in black right so right now it's part of the nice part of the show is my set of the day my set of the day uh, excuse my voice uh, it shouldn't be this croaky but it is this is from the house of Atkinson. This is Amber F. M. Damn. I'm going just to say. Sorry about that. I, my throat was just going a bit mad. So this is from the house of Atkinson. This is Amber Empire. As you see, I have had a damn good hiss into my bottle because it's blooming amazing. It's warm. It's ambery. It's really slightly um, spicy. Great little number. Again, underrated and it's cheap as chips for a niche world. So if you let me know what your set days in the comments, and as always, this is my set day. This is Accent Amber Empire. Right, so there you have it, my 10 plus one uh, designer list for the winter 2023. I'll say this, if it's getting cold and frosty out there, just be careful, stay safe out there, don't want any accents. So always for our top 10 list, a phrase review or a question, please hit me up in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, hit the subscribe button. It's free and you'll be doing a massive favor, so I appreciate all of you, love you all. As always, I'm on Instagram with my phrases and post there pretty much most days. And if you want to DM me there, be my guest. And as always, you absolute legends smell amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.